talking about male privilege. Yes. And I'm bringing up the biological inherent differences between the genders. I agree on that. I agree that biology Women determines sex and gender. Yes. Are less likely and less capable of defending themselves against the opposite gender. Sure. Than biological. I no. Listen. I, I agree. That's why I'm a huge supporter of women concealing and carrying. Okay, that's a completely different subject. No, it's not. So, no, it's not. It's okay. not at all. Yeah, I'm saying it's a different subject because they're being. Be women, I, I don't want. Women, you know, the point is, you're trying to set the premise as though for some reason I'm women are less likely. Not, can okay, I, can say, I respond? Let me say can two I respond? Things, two seconds. This is not about male on male crime, and this is not about access to firearms right now. I want to talk about the practical, different, the practical livelihood uh, or existence of white. We of want to male talk privilege. about systemic privilege. We want to talk okay, about so systemic privilege, and then, and then the no, hold on. So you said two seconds. That was about eighteen. Okay, Go I'm on. going to speak okay, now, and I'm not going you. to cuss at you. Fantastic. So the point is, uh, we are talking about systemic privilege. No one at any point, I am still open to it. Anyone can sit down. Has given me any example of a right afforded to a man, not afforded to a woman. That's what we're really talking about mm. with systemic privilege. Okay. Now we've just acknowledged both of us that men are statistically much more likely to be the victim of a violent crime. We are Other statistically men. much more likely to Other die men. at the workplace. Okay. Now, this is something that matters to me, and perhaps not to you, and then that's okay, we can disagree. I don't believe that the man who is 70, 80% more likely to have a violent crime committed against him is privileged, whether it's committed by another man or not. Now, I would agree, maybe we could find common ground in here, what I'm talking about is I don't want to see women victimized. As a matter of fact, most men don't. And the only way a woman would be able to defend herself against a violent crime, though statistically far less likely than that of it occurring with a man, would be a mechanical advantage in a firearm. Would you not agree? Yeah, sure. It, it's sure. Ah, he got him stumped. He don't know what to say to that. <laughs> you know, like I said, he he's speaking about his own privilege in his own life, maybe where he grew up and stuff like that. So he he just assumes um, all men are like him growing up where he probably grew up. Nothing happens to them, and you know, women are just these little innocent things that have to be saved all the time. They can't defend themselves and stuff. So he's speaking from his privilege, but not male privilege. Probably rich white boy privilege. But let's not bring white into it. Just rich privilege. He probably comes from a good neighborhood, so that's why he thinks the way he thinks and stuff like that. You you just look at him. And, and tell that, you know, he's 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 naive to the world. He really is. Yeah, but this is not about guns. No, it is. No, it's about it's protecting about women, about and, and not, it's it's about keeping women from being victimized. Okay, cool. That's that's just, that's. But men have also. But you want to talk about male privilege? So we're talking about differences between the genders. You want to talk about firearms real quick? Let's end that conversation with this. Men that's and women an do not have a different accessibility to firearms. No, they don't. Exactly. Exactly. So what, That's a great thing. Do, this has nothing well, to do with gender no, privileges. Th there you go. There's there's no privilege there what as far as access to firearms. firearms. What I'm talking about is wanting to have fewer. Few, let me let me boil it down in a way that maybe might be reductive. I would like to read far more headlines. Okay, that say rapist shot dead in a ditch by a woman with a 38 special than woman raped on campus because of some concealed carry law. Okay. Well, okay, so I, I don't like want to see female a lot of victims. Headlines that have nothing to do with rapists. You I know? would exactly. You know why do? Why, but how do you stop why it? Why do you have to carry Rape a gun illegal. to kill a male f***ing rapist when that male could just not rape in the first place? I know. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Wouldn't it, it be fucking great? Yeah. Do you know why? Women wouldn't it be are great so... if men didn't rape? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you arguing with? You're Don Quixote fighting windmills, man. That, we all agree, a, rape why, is bad. Yeah, you think I'm here saying rape is they good? get away with it? They don't get away they don't with get it. Away with it? No. They get away with it on this motherfucking campus. <laughs> really? Yes, they fucking do. Okay. My give me, give, my give me names. raped within the first two weeks of coming to the school as a freshman. She was a fucking virgin too. Milton Daniel Hall. You know what that motherfucker had to do? He had to move out of that hall. But he had to move out of That's that hall. That's about it. Really? Yeah. But why is he yelling at him about it like he got something to do with it? He don't live on that campus. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that's so this, it. So this was a rape. That's this how is they interesting. do with it. So, they so you're getting very emotional. Because okay? this is serious. <laughs> yes, of course it's I'm serious. I'm a white privileged male. I can go in my, yeah. I can stay in my fucking, my little bubble of tea. I told you, there you go. You just said it. You're a white privileged male. <laughs> TCU, I don't have to turn my back. 
I don't have to worry about my job, my my income or anything like that. I don't have to worry about getting raped. Well, you should. My friends do. You should worry. You should worry about your. No. <laughs> if there's some places he can go, he can worry about you know getting great. <laughs> it's just there he might not have to worry about it, but it happens to men. They just don't. They just don't um report it. So he keep thinking that he gonna find out one day. <laughs> No, you should worry about communicating no, no, with others. No, let me finish my phrase. Not something you that should is worry about treat you should worry about communicating with adults. You should worry about treating other people respectfully because this will affect your future employment opportunities. If you first came in here and talked about how you put on your hoodie, your headphones, you don't even look around you in the periphery, that's dumb. That's stupid. You should worry about your safety. That's not that's yeah, fundamentally yeah. unintelligent. White, black, yellow, red, I don't care. It's yeah. not smart to do. It's also not smart to come okay. in and say we should okay. get men to stop raping because that's gonna father. help women. I'm not your father. I'm not your father, but you not, come in here as so you're gonna school not. somebody and cuss and yell and say you need to no, stop no, no, rapists. No, no. I, no, Everyone here wants to stop rapists. Everyone here wants to stop rapists, okay? The point is, this kind of double speak and this kind of rhetoric and this ki these kinds of false platitudes don't help women. Do you know what you're doing? You're victimizing actual victims of rape. There is no one in five rape statistic. When you say men get away with it, we allow men to get off scot-free with rape. Yeah. It's not true. Yeah, it and you absolve people yeah, of personal is. responsibility. It leads to them. a worse society. It leads to them. a polarized campus. It leads to, God forbid, actual rape cultures like we see across the There's Islamic rape world. Culture in this campus is there yep okay and then what is the rape culture this is the rape culture on tcu is is brewed up by first of all twice having twice as many women have twice as money it creates a different social dynamic greek life so how do you let, change let me, it? let me continue let me continue that first example my friend who was raped within their first two weeks it's of terrible college here having lost her virginity to rape it's terrible the the the, the criminal who was on charge was Does he have a, a name? pledge. I'm not. I'm not going to release. This will go out to a lot of people. The girl did I would not love to see him charged. The girl. This is not my. I was. I was. Not, this is not my decision. She did not want to release his name. She did. She just don't want this to be a public thing. Okay. Don't judge her for that. So don't roll your head. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay, I am so making. Me, I am judging. Okay. Well, not her. I'm making. I'm judging okay. the decision. You're judging her victim. So it's, no. I'm it's judging the decision. That's business. a bad decision okay. because you know what? That guy could go forward and rape and another woman. So the stupid false victim status. I don't want that guy to go out and rape somebody the else. Then, she Blame the, the school, school because a she guy raped her. She didn't give the name. She didn't want to put the name out publicly because she did not want to be. How do we stop a rapist if we can't charge him or get a name? Here, let me. Let me How talk. do we stop a rapist? Let me talk. I'm gonna answer your question. Okay. Let me. Let me let yeah, I'm done with this video. Oh my god. Yeah, he, he's an idiot. He's a effing idiot. You see, he come up there like he's standing up for women. He's so powerful. He ain't scared of nothing. He, he ain't got to worry about nothing. Then holler, holler the motherfucking name out. What do you care? If he a rapist and you really hate him like that, you going to call his name. I, I know I would if I knew his name. I call his whole, I call his whole government name out. If I'm if I'm up there like he is, I'm up there yelling, arguing, acting like I'm I'm about that life, and I'm I'm marching for women, and I want to protect them. Then how does the dude name out there? Let us know who he is. But you want to sit there and you want to blame the system and say, well. We allow them to get away with it. No, you allow him to get away, away with it because you know his name. You don't even have to call his, his name out like that. You can go get with some people you know. And you ain't got to kill them or nothing, but you could run them off campus or something. So what's your excuse? Because you know his name. You know exactly what it is. And you're doing nothing about it. And then... Okay, well, I want to do something about it. What's his name? Oh, oh well, you know, I can't tell you. This guy, what well, crap.